I invited Ai Weiwei uh, one and a half years ago and it was uh, for us very early clear that we would like to concentrate on the architecture. A, because it's uh, a field which is not that much represented in his um, exhibition uh, history and uh, most of all also because we ourselves um, are residents in a very, very important contemporary architecture, the building by Peter Zumthor. And the third point was that Vorarlberg is a region very well known for the architecture, for contemporary architecture. And when I was here and have seen our building and when I was telling him about uh, this situation, he was very enthusiastic and deliberately developed this exhibition for the Kunsthausbregenz. Ai Weiwei was right from the beginning very much involved in this exhibition. He asked me what do I want to show and I sort of like made a list which works I wanted to, to have in the exhibition and then the negotiation started and in the end we agreed that it would be really important to concentrate on the collaboration of Ai Weiwei because discussion, negotiation, all this personal involvement is very important in general for his art. and so. Uh, then we decided uh, that we would start the exhibition with a very concrete um, uh, architectural presentation. Uh, then it would become more abstract in the second floor with Orders 100, with the big model, which is like for me a hybrid between an architectural model and an abstract sculpture. And then, like in the third floor, uh, then you have like really an abstract um, work, which uh, reminds very much of. Uh, minimal sculpture, I would say, but after going through this exhibition, you also maybe read this as architecture, as high-rise buildings, for example. As far as I can talk about this, I would say that the main interest in um, Ai Weiwei and architecture is that he's always very much concerned about social and political uh, situations. And of course, architecture is the discipline uh, where you have uh, always these negotiations. And uh, always, even if you build as a private person a house, you have to negotiate with the city or with the landowner or with, you know, the, there's always this discussion. And I think the social involvement is very important in general for the work of Ai Weiwei, but especially, of course, also in the architecture. And his, what he was telling me, is that he is very much concerned to bring architects from all over the world to China and to bring theoretical and intellectual and cultural input because he, in his opinion there is a lot of building in China going on but there is very few theoretical discussion. Ai Weiwei did over 60 architectural projects and we concentrate only on the collaborations and of course they are the most well known is the bird's nest. Uh, he was consulting uh, Herzog de Meuron, but also we show uh, his collaboration with HHF, uh, a young architectural uh, studio uh, also from Basel. But then of course with Orders 100 where he invited 100 international artists from all over the world, from Asia, from Latin America, from North America, Europe. Uh, there you can really discover in this exhibition so many also lesser known architects. For the Kunsthausbregenz it's always very important to contextualize the exhibitions we show. So there will be uh, tomorrow morning Philip Tinari who is a very uh, uh, well known and uh, very interesting scholar who uh, lives in China for several years. He will talk about the architecture for example of Ai Weiwei and he will also uh, contextualize it in the political realm. So
So then we have uh, film screenings and we have discussion. And what is also very important are our tours, uh, the staff of the uh, Kunsthaus Bregen Stars. And of course, we are very much involved and we're in direct contact with uh, Avery Ray, especially when he was here. So we uh, really want to bring across what his opinion is.